All right, so welcome back to episode 8 now of the Dallas Mavericks My League Series here on NBA 2K18. And in today's video, we're going to be simulating the rest of the regular season. We're going to finish up the 2020 season. And it's an okay season right now. We're 28 and 25. We are pretty much at the trade deadline. Uh, simulating up to this Warriors game would be the trade deadline. Uh, for some reason, it didn't save. I actually ended up simulating up to the Warriors game in the last video, but for some reason, it only simulated through this Lakers game. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just one more game we didn't get to simulate. It's fine. Um, in the last video, it's been a little while. I do apologize about that. Um, let me look at this. So the team right now is pretty much fine. We're at a position where I don't think we're good enough to really compete for a championship. We're not a high enough seed where I'd really want to maybe give away one of our young guys for like a really good player. I'm just really not feeling that right now. And then also, so I did talk about in the last video, if we want to sort this by position, not the magic, um, we want to sort this by position, power forwards. So right here, we were talking about moving Dwight Powell, um, maybe for Jan Mahimi and two second round pick from the Minnesota Timberwolves. I wouldn't be against doing that. Let me just see this. Well, let me see. So Powell, I, only if the contract works out, I'm going to do this. Let's go over to the Timberwolves. Uh, Jan Mahimi. Oh, he was recently traded, so he can't be traded. Okay, so there goes that idea. That one is clearly not happening anymore. Okay, so we can look at other teams that might need to use Mahimi. Uh, or not Mahimi, excuse me, Dwight Powell. It would pretty much just have to be for like two second round picks. Uh, Grizzlies, do you have a backup power forward off the bench? You have two big men off the bench. You're pretty much fine. And you have Pascal Siakam, so you are good. They have Willie Colley Stein, Kenneth Freed. They're good. Spurs. Um, they have Jarebko. I mean, he's okay. Maybe, but I don't really think that. It, they don't have any, like, bad contracts here, right? Danny Green's probably not enough. I need, like, $10 million. I don't really want to take on Patty Mills. D-Wade's not making enough. Neither is Jarebko. Okay, and they're not going to be trading Norman Powell. So I don't think this is going to work out here. Uh, we can check the Eastern Conference. Celtics, Power Forward. Yeah, they're fine. Bucks, um, DJ Wilson, they're fine. I'm pretty sure, like, all these teams are probably going to be at least, like, okay. Jeff Green and Allen Williams, they're more than fine. They have Gallinari as well, which is interesting. Pacers, TJ Leaf, they're good. Wendell Kerr Jr. is right off their bench. Raptors, um, they have Taj Gibson. He's more than serviceable. Terrence Jones is more than serviceable. So I think pretty much all the teams that are competing for like a real playoff spot, I think they're pretty much already like all set off the bench with power forward. So it looks like we're not going to be getting much value um, out of of who even who was I trying to trade again? Out of Dwight Powell, excuse me. Um, so I think I'm going to leave this rotation for the rest of the season. I'm more than fine with it for right now. So it is Dennis Smith Jr., R.J. Barrett, Harrison Barnes, Paul Millsap, and Mo Bamba. Uh, also, in the last video, I talked about upcoming free agents that I could possibly go after because there are a couple decent free agents uh, upcoming. It is pretty much Kevin Love and D Draymond Green. And I think the more realistic one you guys said it would be Kevin Love because most people don't think Draymond would ever leave the Warriors. So... I kind of agree with that. I think Kevin Love would definitely be a big improvement over Paul Millsap. We give uh, all our, the rest of our team another year to improve, and I definitely think that puts us as a championship contender. So we're probably going to go after Kevin Love in the offseason. Hopefully he doesn't like auto resound with the Cavs around the contract extension deadline. That would be kind of annoying. But right now we are going to simulate the rest of the season number one. We will hop in this game against the Sacramento Kings no matter what. Doesn't matter. Just going to get some final gameplay before we hopefully – Hopefully make the playoffs. I'm going to be kind of disappointed if we don't make it. We're currently sitting as a seven seed. Um, no, we are not going to stop because I could not find any trades that I really went or wanted. Um, and okay, so we pick up a win there. We're still the seven seed. I don't like losing these games. Like we need to beat the teams we should beat. Like we probably should have beat the Pelicans. Uh, very low scoring game against the Lakers, which is interesting. We're heading into the All Star break right now, 30 and 28, which isn't great. It's not great. It's not horrible though. We definitely. Definitely have some room for improvement. Uh, contract extension deadline. I will stop simulating just for a second to make sure. I know I checked in the last video. So it's pretty much Harrison Barnes and Dwight Powell. Uh, Bradley's ineligible. So I'm probably, let's see, I'm probably going to bring back Barnes just because there's no really other small forward and free agency that I can bring in. So I'll probably re-sign him hopefully after I get Kevin Love just because Kevin Love's obviously the big one and he's kind of the most important one. So we're not going to do any contract extensions right now just because I do want to have enough cap space to bring in Kevin Love hopefully. Um, if he doesn't take our offer, I might throw an offer at Draymond. Maybe I mean, people say Draymond wouldn't leave the Warriors, but it only comes you only want to be a fourth option for so long. So maybe he would consider leaving. That's obviously not complete. Uh, we're not going to be doing free agency in this video. Uh, of course, we're not even going to be doing the playoffs in this video. We're just going to be simulating the rest of the season. Uh, but let me know, should I go after Draymond? Draymond Green. That's very important. Um, I could probably play him at small forward. I might be able to retain Millsap then for maybe another one-year deal. So let me know what I should do down below in the comment section. Comment sections are always very helpful. And we have actually bumped up to the sixth seed right now. We win two games in a row. Actually, we won three in a row. 
We lose one against the Timberwolves. We are one off clinching a playoff spot. Are we going to clinch a playoff spot pretty soon? If we end up like losing out and we don't make the playoffs, I I'm, I'm, I swear to God, we clinch a playoff spot. We... Did I not hit simulate with SimCast? That's on me. I, I could have swore I hit simulate with SimCast, but I guess I didn't. Uh, Curry MVP, Zion Williamson, Rookie of the Year. So we do not get Rookie of the Year, Najee Barrett. Kind of disappointing. Uh, Williamson went second overall. Greg Monroe, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis Antetokounmpo, Defensive Player of the Year. Ivica Zubac wins most improved for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And Mike D'Antoni, Coach of the Year as the Rockets go 58-24. and 24. And they were first in the Western Conference. So, all NBA first team, we have Curry, Harden, Giannis, LeBron, and Cat. Very, very... Pretty much worthy team. Uh, second is Irving, Westbrook, Porzingis, Leonard, and Jokic. Paul, Wall, Durant, George, and then Whiteside. So, doesn't look like we have any Mavericks on these all NBA teams. How about defensive teams? Uh, Lonzo out here, is out here making it. Um, Nope, nobody else. So, rookie team, we do have RJ Barrett. I mean, that one was kind of obvious. I mean, he, he definitely should have made it. He was the third overall pick in last year's draft, and he definitely was one of the better rookies. Uh, so that is definitely very, very interesting. Jamie McLeod made it. Okay. Looks like they just signed this guy out of free agency. And how did he do? Not terrible. Nine points a game. I'll, I'd definitely take that as for a 68 overall. So 43 and 39. We end up with the sixth seed in the Western Conference. First round of the playoffs, we were taking on the three seeded Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, not a very easy matchup, obviously. Um, one sec. What am I going to do? Okay. So we're 15 games out. Um, give me a second. I'm about to sneeze. I don't want to do that on camera. So give me a second. All right. I'm sorry about that. I had to. I had to sneeze. I didn't want to do that on camera. Uh, so we ended up 15 games back of the Rockets, which isn't great. It's not terrible. Six seed in the Western Conference. We were three games up on both the Trailblazers and the Grizzlies. Uh, it looks like the Pelicans ended up not making the playoffs, even with this unbelievable front court. They probably should have made the playoffs, at least. Uh, the Spurs didn't make the playoffs. Okay. That's a little bit shocking. Jazz didn't make it. Um, ooh, they have Trey Young. That's actually pretty cool. He fell to 10. Damn. Uh, this seems not great. Maybe would have made the playoffs. No, the Kings, that's pretty much obvious. So they didn't make the playoffs. They're not very good. Lakers do not make it. They have Lonzo. Ooh, they have Cameron Reddish. Ingram, they send Bosch, Dwayne Demon. They pretty much just need a franchise center. They'd be good. Euless Booker, Jackson, PJ Washington, they draft. He fell to 19. Damn, he's pretty good. They have DeAndre Aiden, too. Um, he fucked up my bracket. I had Arizona winning the whole thing, and they lost. First goddamn game. Freaking Buffalo. Unbelievable. Uh, Clippers looks like, oh, they still, they started this point guard. That's how he made the all rookie team. They still have DeAndre Jordan. Looks like they paid him big money, and it looks like his stats are definitely decreasing. Yeah, that's going to be an annoying contract to live out. Uh, Eastern Conference, we can check that out. Looks like the Bucks were the one seed. Uh, they have Zach Levine now. Okay, not sure how they got him. They trade for Donovan. They trade him for Don, not Donovan Mitchell, you idiot, Chris Middleton. They also have Kemba. I'm not sure how they got Kemba, and they paid the shit out of Kemba. Okay, Cavs were second. They have IT, Luka Doncic, LeBron, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson, Beverly. Uh, this is the man we're going after this offseason. They did not give him a contract extension. That is absolutely awesome. Celtics were third. See, why can see 2K does it now? Like half the time they start like a 73 overall power forward over Jason Tatum at power forward, which just makes no sense. Uh, but it looks like they updated that. 76ers with Fultz, Smart, Covington, uh, Simmons, and B. This is a very good team as well. The Hawks in here making the playoffs. Looks like they signed Mello, which is very interesting. Uh, they have Bull Bull and Colin Sexton. Um, they have Gary Trent Jr. They have a very good bench. Gary Trent Jr. fell pretty deep. Uh, the Nets making the playoffs. I have no idea who Gabe Anderson is. Okay, they have Vucevic. Um, Indiana Pacers, still Victor Oladipo, Miles Turner. Seems not that good. And finally, the Magic with Jeremy Lin, Aaron Fournier. They have Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon. They're starting Kelly Olynyk at center. If Derek Favors, Jonathan Isaac, Avery Bradley, Elford, that is an unbelievable bench. So I guess the bench is really just helping them. And the Raptors ended up not making the playoffs. That just makes no sense to me. Neither did the Wizards. What? Oh, they have Mitchell Robinson too. Okay. So we're not going to be going over this anymore. We're going to be checking out the player stats right now. We're led in scoring by Dennis Smith Jr. Then it was Harrison Barnes, RJ Barrett, Paul Millsap, Desan Musa, Mo Bamba, Trayvon Duvall, Mike Muscala, Grayson Allen, Tony Bradley, who was not very good. So I'm probably going to be moving on from him. And then it was Justin Patton. Uh, Rally Atkins really didn't play that much. Led in rebounds by Mo Bamba. Then it was Paul Millsap, Harrison Barnes. And assists was Smith Jr., Trayvon Duvall, and then Paul Millsap. So if anybody wants to check out steals, it was Duvall, Barron, Millsap. And blocks was Bamba, Millsap, and then Patton. Turnovers, probably Dennis Smith Jr. Nope, it was actually RJ Barrett. So we will be doing the playoffs in the next video. 
As I mentioned, taking on the three-seeded Minnesota Timberwolves should be a very interesting series. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you like down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Uh, let me know what I should do with this offseason with free agents. I'm definitely going after Kevin Love. Let me know if I should go after Draymond Green as well. I think that would definitely push us over the top and make us an absolute championship contender. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.